Take one. This is Mr. Bill Collar of Seymour, Wisconsin, also known as Hamburger Charlie, also known as Board of Trustees President, also known as Motivational Speaker. Bill was a model in our first go-round in 2004. Can you tell us a little bit about what that experience was like? It was simply overwhelming, Elizabeth. Uh, first of all, I've never viewed myself as being a model. And when I was asked, uh, I was just really taken back. But Fortunately, uh, countryside, they do a great job uh, touching things up, let's say. <laughs> and the poster came out. I was even amazed. It was pretty, uh, pretty impressive. And I've had a lot of comments on it. I might add a few uh, contacts to go on and do some additional modeling work. So, oh, yes. do you think the modeling work might have had something to do with that bobblehead over there, Hamburger Charlie bobblehead? Maybe we need to show that to the audience. Could you grab that baby and show them how it works? Well, the, oh, yes, the Hamburger yes. Charlie Bobblehead? Yes. Why, certainly. This is... Um, Looks just like you. This is a gentleman who originated the hamburger here in Seymour, Wisconsin in 1885. And I do portray him for our Burger Fest. So not only do I get some notoriety for that, but then again having your picture and poster hanging in the library, uh, that is just too much. And, one day, actually, I was coming out of the grocery store, and a young man, I carried my groceries out, and I said, uh, you must be about a junior in high school. He said, yes, I am. And I said, uh, I used to teach juniors. I said, uh, in fact, I taught history at the school for 29 years. Do you know what my name is? He said, well, sure, you're Hamburger Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> so, f quite frankly, I'd rather be known as a gentleman in a poster in the library Great. than Hamburger Charlie, because I do enjoy reading. And of course, books are the windows to the world. They just oh, open it up for the rest of us. Perfect. Any words of advice for the five extraordinary gentlemen tonight as they embark on this new adventure of their lives being models for the library? Well, the first thing I think would be to get an agent. Oh. They're going to be getting a lot of phone calls. And then read the contract that they signed with Elizabeth at the library because I thought I'd have complete freedom to handle my affairs and finances where I wish, but after I read the contract, I found that the large print giveth, but the small print taketh away. And really, all the residuals go back to the Mule Public Library, but when I think it over, that is only right that it would be done in that manner. So I'm just pleased to be part of the event. Thank you so much. Uh,